we face a convergence of crises. Almost every time the scientific community updates its projections, the prognosis looks worse. The oceans will rise by seven or even nine meters, the scientists point out to us. From my own personal scientific results, the most alarming thing I see is that the ocean is becoming more acidic. Scientists have predicted every second breath of humans depends on the ocean, so the oceans are central to our livelihood and our survival on the planet. There's a whole different set of rules in the ocean about what governs ecosystems. It's the danger of being eaten. What is fisheries? Well, it's a whole new predator. It's going in and making an artificial eater and putting it into the ocean. So fishing can very much change ecosystems in the ocean, and it does. Not many people realize that half the fish taken out of the ocean isn't even eaten by people. It's fed to livestock. We have turned the pig into the largest marine predator on the planet. Now, this is one of the most frustrating aspects of the crisis in which we find ourselves. On the whole, we continue with business as usual, happy to clutch at uh, any straw thrown out by those who are in denial about the stark scientific realities. If we are going to survive as a species, we have to understand that the proper amount of animal products to have in their diet is zero. We need to be the people that start the change. We should not pin all our hopes on massive and risky technical fixes. So much of what we need to build cleaner and more efficient communities is already with us, often in the form of working more in harmony with nature's genius. Our response depends on the conscious evolution of our species, and this response could very well save this unique blue planet for future generations. So the bottom line is be veg, go green, and save the planet.